welcome children in the last class i have explained to you about the natural uh, vegetation region of the world in this module i will explain to you about the natural vegetation of india so unlike the other regions of the world india has also diverse vegetation different types of vegetations are grown in different parts of the country but here we will discuss about five major vegetation types first tropical evergreen forest tropical evergreen forest are found in the western slopes of the western ghats and in the hills of jaintia and khasi parts of west bengal andaman and nicobar islands important trees include rosewood mahogany ebony bamboo etc next tropical monsoon forest monsoon forest forms the major vegetation cover and are found in the western and the northeastern part of the deccan plateau and the lower slopes of the himalayas from jammu in the west to west bengal in the east they are also found in parts of chatisgarh odisha bihar jharkhand andhra pradesh telangana karnataka kerala and tamil nadu some of the important trees found in tropical monsoon forest are teak sal sandalwood mango jackfruit bamboo simal sesam arjun and the banyan tree thorn and scrub forest thorn and scrub forest in india are found in the thar desert of rajasthan in parts of punjab and gujarat common trees include babul and date plums tidal forest tidal forest are also known as mangrove forest they are located in the deltic regions of the eastern coast of india the largest mango forest lies in the sundarban delta in west bengal these forests are well adapted to the saline waters of the intertidal zones of the eastern coast the trees in this region have stilt roots the sundari tree is the most common tree found here then the last vegetation is mountain vegetation mountain vegetation varies along with the altitude based on height based on altitude vegetation differs in the mountainous regions deciduous trees such as sal are found till the height of 1800 meter then it is followed by mixed forest of cedar and deodar the next coniferous forest such as pine and beech grow at 4500 meter beyond and below the snow line the alpine meadows are available then next we will see need to conserve forest the next topic is need to conserve forest forests are very important therefore it is very necessary to conserve loss of forest cover uh, will cause ecological imbalance uh, soil erosion its degradation caused by human activities as well as natural events like flood have impact on the whole ecosystem therefore afforestation uh, and large scale of tree plantation is very important for the sustainability of our natural vegetation so steps must be taken to prevent activities that lead to soil air and water pollution next let me talk about wildlife 
वाइल्ड लाइफ फॉर्म्स एन इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ रिच नेचुरल हेरिटेज ऑफ द एंटायर प्लेनेट सम इम्पोर्टेंट एलिमेंट्स इन द आर्टिक टुंड्रा इनक्लूड्स रेनडियर आर्टिक फॉक्स आर्टिक हेयर पोलार बियर्स इन द एक्सट्रीम नॉर्थ मास्क ऑक्स स्नोई आउल एंड लेमिंग्स देन इन एंटार्टिका मोस्ट ऑफ द वाइल्ड लाइफ विच इनक्लूड्स seals and penguins in habits areas near the seashore and in the boreal forest the wildlife comprises mainly far varying animals such as the uh olverine sable ermine pine martin mink etc then large herbivorous animals are also available such as red deer moose and beaver in among birds ravens finches and sparrows then the wildlife found in mediterranean vegetation include wild goats sheep cattle horses wild boar rabbits vultures small mammals reptiles insects etc then wildlife of the tropical rainforest includes butterflies beetles worms spiders snakes lizards frogs then monkeys other mammals like joggers then colorful birds like parrots toucans etc then Wildlife in temperate deciduous forests include bears, foxes, wolves, deer, rats, snakes, red-tailed hawks, eagles, nightingales, hawks, cardinals, snow owls, etc. Then wildlife in the grasslands include grazing animals and also those animals which feed on these grazing animals the main animals include bison rodents while carnivorous include wolves fox etc then birds include meadow larks squirrels sparrows hawks owls etc next wildlife in tropical grassland includes giraffe zebra rhinos buffaloes kangaroos squirrels ground squirrels that is ground squirrels snakes uh, termites beetles lions leopards hyenas jackals wild dog elephants etc then next wildlife found in deserts on uh, only those animals are available in deserts which can adapt to the harsh that is difficult climatic condition such animals are armadillo lizards snakes bobcat thorny devil desert tortoise desert lark cactus wren dingo fat sand rat phoenix fox etc now let me tell you about the importance of wildlife conservation with the increasing need of land for human habitation and agriculture wildlife is losing its habitat over exploitation of wildlife has led to an alarming decrease and even in the extinction of many species therefore it is very urgent to conserve wildlife the preservation uh, protection of wildlife and their environment is known as wild conservation so this preservation and protection towards the wildlife it is very much important now we will see the wildlife in india wildlife in india is both rich and varied 372 species of mammals then 2228 species of birds 
446 species of reptiles and 204 species of amphibians are available in the forest of India. And this makes our country one of the 12 mega diversity countries of the world. And many other animal species like elephants, uh, Nilguri langur, lion tailed macaw, then uh, Malabar kivet, spring mouse, Huluk gibbon, golden langur, iron guttons, red pandas. Slow lorries, giant squirrels, etc. also live in this forest. And last, the concluding topic of this lesson is wildlife conservation measures. It means what are the measures to be taken for conserving wildlife. The Indian government has taken concrete steps to protect the wildlife of our country because the government have set up national parks, wildlife sanctuaries, reserves and bioreserves throughout the country. The government has also started nature protects and programs like the uh, Project Tiger that launched in 1973-74. Then there are 49 tiger reserves in India. Some of the well-known tiger reserves are Jim Corbett National Park, Kanha Tiger Reserves, Ranthambore uh, Bandavark National Park, then Sundarvans National Park, etc. Then steps like shifting of blazes outside the core areas of these resources and parks have also shown a positive impact okay so we have come to the end of the relation in the next class i will give you the question answers thank you